Assalamu alaikum Quran Weekly. MashaAllah, it's very great to be a part of this and inshallah I wish to share with you in the next few episodes uh, my favorite verses of the Quran. That is a very, very interesting question. The reason is everyone knows that as Muslimin, the favorite book of every Muslim is the Quran. And if it isn't, it's supposed to be. So I think we'd rather rectify that. Some people don't have the knowledge of the Quran and for that reason they distance themselves from the Quran. However, to be very honest with you, my favorite book ever is the Quran. And it's because I've read it. It's because I've tried my best to understand it. It's because every single day I try to look into the meanings of the Quran and how they apply to me in my life. Every single day I try to open the Quran and find peace in it. And I do. And subhanAllah, we learn and continue learning. If we take a look at the question, now that we know which is supposed to be the favorite book for every Muslim, let's ask which is the favorite verse? Well, I can answer the question for myself. I have many favorite verses. All the verses that are connected to why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran, I really find intrigue in them. I find them to be really, really on a different level. Although the entire Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but different people have various issues that are close to their heart that they would find perhaps a lot of comfort through. When I see the reason why Allah revealed the Quran or some of the secrets of the Quran or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is encouraging us to do something regarding the Quran, amazingly, I find those verses really, really powerful. Let me take you through one of these such verses. In Surah Sa'd, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, verse number 29, has made mention of something very, very interesting. He says, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyaddabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadhakkara ulul albab. A book, a book, subhanallah. A book that we have revealed a book that we have revealed. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. Blessed, Mubarakun, blessed. The book is blessed. So it is the most blessed book in existence because it's the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine, people are looking for blessings in everything else. Subhanallah, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has great blessings. He says it is a book, a book in which there are great blessings or a book that is blessed, Mubarakun. Li, liyaddabbaru, in order that they, in order that they do something known as tadabbur. Tadabbur is deep pondering, deep reflection, uh, you know, deep rooted pondering over its verses. Ayatihi, liyaddabbaru ayatihi. So Allah is telling us a book that we have revealed, blessed, in order that they ponder very deeply over its verses. وَلِيَتَذَكَّرَ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ And for it to act as a reminder or for those to take heed who are of sound intellect. So amazing. If you have sound intellect, what would happen? You would realize the blessed book and you would want to learn what is in it. So this is how we would achieve the closeness to Allah, our Maker, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is how we will be able to become people who know that their link with their maker is what will take them to paradise. How can I expect to enter paradise when I don't have a link with the owner of paradise? That owner of paradise has his words in our midst. And those words are in the form of the Quran. And he is telling us so many times, ponder over the verses of the Quran. This to me is one of my favorite verses, if not the most favorite verse. Because every time I read it, I smile to myself and I say, Oh Almighty, I'm trying to do exactly that. I know this book is blessed. I've achieved so much comfort through it. People have tried to harm me. People have tried to do so many things. People have usurped my rights. People have really done so many negative things. But I look at them as positive. I achieve. I smile every time I see someone really doing something nasty. If it's against me, because I know there is a bigger picture. Where did I get it from? That verse where Allah says, Ponder deeply over its verses. No verse is in the Quran just without purpose. There is a purpose for every single verse. And it's important for us to know that unless we go to ponder very deeply over the verses of the Quran, 
We will not be able to achieve the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the comfort, the peace, the happiness, and perhaps we might lose out uh, when it comes to the hereafter. We don't want to lose out. So my brothers and sisters, I call out to you as well as to myself to ponder very deeply over the verses of the book that is blessed that Allah has revealed if we are really from amongst those who are intellectual, who have sound intellect, who have a brain, who would like to understand, realize, ponder. These are amazing words that are used in the Quran. I have found of late something I'm going to share with you. Many times we read the meanings of the Quran in the English language, for example, and we find it very difficult to understand because sometimes there is ancient Victorian language that is used or you know medieval British or English language European language that is used if I can use that term I have found the easiest to understand a translation known as Sahih International and this was gifted to me when I visited Al Muntada in London and subhanallah I read through that and I found it to be very 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 easy to understand. Remember whenever there are questions that you have regarding verses that you may not have understood completely please ask those of sound knowledge. So inshallah we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.